Hello, this is Yuya, and here is how you connect a button that is uh, in the things hierarchy uh, to a prefab that uh, is not in the thing, but will be in the thing after the game is initiated. So the idea here is I want to connect this button. Uh, I want to use this button to uh, to play a function uh, that is uh, in an animation script uh, that is attached to a animated uh, character, uh, and that character is not in the scene yet because it's uh, it can be only spawned after the game started and the AR camera detected. The tracked image. Um, and yeah, let's get started. Uh, the first step will be write a method in a manager. And here is the method. Fish manager is a method. And the fish manager is attached to an empty game object. Uh, and I made the name fish manager too, to, yeah. And fish manager is attached to this empty game object named fish manager. Um, so first in the fish manager, I, the first thing that I did is I public, public static fish manager contest. It is the most essential step here. Uh, claim this contest, context, yeah, context. And second thing uh, that I did is uh, I referenced a script here and the name of, I referenced a class here and the class, basically whenever you are making a script, you are making a class and the class is actually the script uh, that's, I made for the uh, animation, the, the animated character, right? The the prefab, like it's in the prefab. Uh, yeah, the game ready character is in the prefab and this animation script is attached to the animated character. Uh, so basically the way uh, that's we are controlling the fish, the animated character is like uh, using animation controllers, right? And uh, um, the controller contains a lot of animation, wondering, eat, glass, uh, glass tap, belly tap, and, uh, and uh, those animations are connected by transitions, right? And uh, those transitions will be uh, there are, of course, conditions to those transitions. This transition will only happen uh, if it is set to true, is wondering is set to false. Uh, so wondering to it will be happening, right? And those um, conditions are also are just Boolean parameters. And yeah, the way animation script is controlling those and those uh, animations is by just like th they are not controlling the animation, they are actually controlling those booleans. They just set booleans to false and truth. Uh, this way, uh, those booleans controls the transitions and the animation will be uh, triggered, right? Or those animation will be initiated because like, Right, Tri or triggered because those boolean was, uh, right. You are setting if you are setting the booleans right, the animation transition will be happening. So for wondering, uh, you are setting wondering to true and uh, is it to false? Is belly tap to false? Is glass tap to false? Right? Then the fish will be wondering. <laughs> And for it, you set it to true and the rest into false. Same applies to the rest. Uh, and of course, uh, 
I I wanted the animation being played, uh, for a particular range of time instead of looping forever and never going back to wandering. So, uh, I used a uh, emulate e enumerator. Uh, so the animation of eating will be playing for five seconds. Then, um, the fish will go back to wandering. Uh, same applies to the rest. And uh, lastly, I made a public event, a uh, public function, um, such as eat animation. So, uh, star cool routine, uh, play eat. So basically, yeah, it's, it's weird when you are using yield return new wait for a second. When you want to make something wait for a second, uh, you cannot use, uh, enumerator as a function directly. You have to use star coroutine play it to make that happen. So yeah, I think uh, now you have a solid idea of how, how those animations uh, are working here, right? Uh, yeah, so yeah, so that's why I'm re referencing this animation script. And I'm referencing it as fish animation. So from now on, inside the fish manager, uh, the animation script is no longer being called animation script. Now the animation script is fish animation. Uh, so the second step after doing this is uh, actually the third sp step is you have to make a, a void awake function and make con text equal to this. And uh, uh, of course, you have to register the fish. Because uh, yeah, you want to register fish animation script as uh, being like, make it working inside of fish manager, right? Basically, the registering step is like, uh, you are finding this thing across the entire hierarchy, right? Uh, while the game is happening, because because if right now we are if we are trying to find the uh, animation script uh, from the hierarchy, it's not here, right? Because it's haven't spawned yet. But once uh, uh, the game initiated and the AR camera detects the image, the prefab will being uh well will be somewhere around here right because it's spawned uh yes so basically what this thing is doing it's just uh the the movement of finding the animation script uh from the current hierarchy instead of this this not this uh initial hierarchy it's finding the an animation script from the current hierarchy, which is uh, the hierarchy uh, when the game uh, happened, right? Uh, yes, so after you referenced it, you, again, you make the animation script uh, equal to fish animation. So the fish animation is a new name for animation script. And uh, you make a, finally, the you make a public function. So if uh, fish animation is not equal to nothing, if you you find the fish animation instead of not finding it, then please go to fish animation and find the eat animation inside of the fish animation script. So, well, here is a eat animation, right? Because we set it into a public void. Uh, yes, so basically, this is a first step, writing a method in a game manner. Uh, and the second step is go to the button for connecting the method. So you go to the button, and you drag the fish manager uh, into the onclick event and go to the script, then find the eat function here. And now you have it. 
But last step, uh, when you are registering something, you uh, the the there is a finding script and a being finded script, right? You have to uh, register in both end. By saying that, you you not have to you not only have to register uh, the register the, the script in the manager. You also have to go to the script and kind of telling the script itself it's being registered. So you have to insert this line of code here. Uh, fish manager, fish manager, the contact text, fish manager, the contacts, the register fish. Which, who is a fish? This is a fish. This is the thing you are registering, right? So by putting this line here, this beautiful line of code here, uh, you are like, you are kind of telling the referenced original script. Uh, you are telling it about the manager is registering it. Uh, yeah. Um, so that's all the steps and uh, it will apply to any uh, similar scenarios. You can, now you have the method of uh, uh, connecting buttons that is in the uh, initiated, like the, 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 the hierarchy at the very beginning of the game to, to some game object that will be only spawned after the game is initiated. Okay, uh, I will put this beautiful line of code into the description area and I also will uh, put the manager script uh, into the description area as well.